they're like the like the old ones, like Cthulhu and Dagon and the like. I believe. <clears throat> as far as I'm aware. It's been more than six years since I entered that strange house in Boston. But to me, it was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it. Probably brought on by acute mental stress. I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming. Screaming with According pure to the pleasure. police report, they Flyer. searched the house for hours. <gasps> oh! And later, collapsed well, on like the floor. Like Jimmy actually. When my eyes opened and I spoke, my colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to Arkham Asylum, where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. As it became clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, I was released from the asylum's care. I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult, delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. Well, that must have been helpful reading. When I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Return to normal life has been a painful process. In recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. I am beginning to remember things from that day, more than six years past, that I've told. I thought they just let him back to the police force. Jack Walters. Uh, hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. I need your help finding a missing person. I don't take that kind of job. Uh, did you get my package? Um, uh, hold on. What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Mr. Um, Anderson. It's one of my store managers, you see. Brian's his name. Brian Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I never heard of it. <laughs> uh, it's a small fishing town on the coast, not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this... What the hell? I'll be here all day anyway. Got all that cash he's given him. That's just for him to take the job. I imagine there'll be more. What's he's done? Oh, new client, February 6, 1922. Night. I have a new client, Mr. Arthur Anderson, the regional manager of the First National Grocery Store chain. It appears that the first national grocery in Innsmouth was recently burglarized, and its manager, one Brian Burnham, is missing. From what I've been able to gather, Burnham is something of a young rogue. A friend of the family, Mr. Anderson gave him a job as a favour. Uh, is it going to let me skip this on? Yes. Burnham is looking like the prime suspect for the robbery, but there are a few things that don't add up. Not to Anderson and not to me. For instance, why would Burnham force an entry in the store when he had full set of keys Free access to the cash register and the combination to the back office is safe. To misdirect any investigation? If this was his plan, why did he disappear? Following my conversation with Mr Anderson, I found out what I could about the ancient town of Innsmouth. For generations, the crumbling seaport and its people have been shunned by neighbouring communities. Outsiders are unwelcome there and there are superstitious tales of a strange element in the town's oldest families. 
they are of mixed blood, so the stories go. Whatever that's supposed to mean. The usual hick town prejudice, no doubt. After making a brief visit to Innsmouth, my client came away distrustful of the local authorities. He isn't buying their line up Burnham robbed the place, and he wants to know what happened to him. Only one bus goes to Innsmouth, and tomorrow afternoon I'll be on it. It feels good to have a purpose after five months of trying to break through my amnesia. I also feel a little apprehensive. Maybe it's the wild stories about the sound, or maybe it's just because I haven't had a case in so long. Right. Uh, Daniel says, this must be what David Icke is on about. Yeah, this is what David Icke's all about. He sits in his room, crying about aliens and dreaming of cosmic landscapes. And Shauna says, is the game, the new game, like a remake of this? Uh, no, it's not, sadly. It's a, it's a completely different story. Like, the, the opening's really good. Like, you get to the, the town. It's not Innsmouth. It's like a different one, but they've, they've pretty much copied it. Uh, but then it gets a little bit shit. So let's carry on. Uh, the real kids see ghosts. Unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, no what? Kids see ghosts. I'm going to call you Ghost. That's what I'm going to call you. It's quite a mouthful. Oh! 7th of February, 1922. Fucking stay at this Driver, bus. It's like a shed on wheels. We're almost there. I'll drop you at the town square a bit. Why lock the gates? Keeps out wanderers looking for work. We don't want those folks like that interfering with our affairs. Is the bus from Arkham always this empty? Aye, and we prefer it that way. Not many come to Innsmouth. But what about trade? Surely the port needs business. Innsmouth has the means to look after a road. There'll be lots more fish people talk to come. Do not worry. No threats, will be. This, this is proper. This is it, stranger. End of the line. Crap, What pleasant little town. Definitely the fucking best bit of the game, this. Why, thank you, sir. I can fucking smashed up. Wing mirror on it then. Oh, he got out quick. Fucking hell. Look at it. Can't see shit with that. You, what have you got to say? Could you direct me to the first national grocery store? I hear they have a shop in town. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> you see, I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. I'm a friend of the family. He worked in the store. Don't know who you're talking about, fella. Wow, you are very useful. Chit chat to him's gonna get me no place fast. Oh, just say it while he's there. Innsmouth, Ark. Fucking push me! Uh. Something. Bus. Service. But. Fuck off with that. Goes to. Innsmouth, Arkham, and. somewhere else. Right, I suppose in here? This way. Well, good day, sir! Evening. Hi. My name's Jack Walters. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. I run this here hotel of an evening. You got any rooms? I'd not rightly know that for sure. All habits cleaning rooms at present. Them's from out of town can leave a horrid mess. <laughs> Talking oh. to this fellow's getting me nowhere, and he's more than a touch creepy. If I need a room and I'm desperate, then I'll come back. Fucking great, look at this atmosphere. It's just seeping through. What's that? Nothing. Uh, An you? old grandfather clock. Why years? Is that 2 a.m.? 2 a.m. or the p.m.? I don't think it matters around here. I imagine it's always perpetually dark. Right. Let's uh, be polite, shut that. And let's go and look for the grocery store. Oh. 
hear voices. But let's talk to this fella here. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Can't help you. Brilliant. You! You! Do you know the Burnham land? You worked in the first national. I know it. Fucking talk to me like that with the least. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Stop pestering me, stranger. <laughs> oh. Two gay looking fellas over here. Do you know you. the Burnham land? You worked in the wrong place asking the wrong questions. Oh, I told him nothing. Oh. You. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? Just leave me be, stranger. You. Look at the fucking size of this cunt! Excuse me, Constable. Jack Walters. The uh, robes. Alien robes. What do you want? Could you help out a stranger to this fine port? Are you being funny? No. Not at all. I'm after directions to the First National. I hear they have a store in town. Innsmouth don't take too kindly to them from out of town. Get lost, stranger. Stranger. Sean says proper ugly these fish, but they are. That not, fellow uh... was just stringing me along with a lot of nothing about nothing. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. This way? I'm gonna try. Uh, what? Ah, you can't come down here. Oh, what? What in the fucking street, you lunatic? What? The police clearly don't want me snooping around. I need to be more careful. Right, this is where I need to know how to crouch. And controller. Crouch, crouch. C. C for crouch, of course. How stupid are you? Here we go, look at this. Balls to the floor, gentlemen. Balls to the floor. What fucking hell? I get it. Sneak up behind him, stick a finger up his ass. I was only joking, Ossifer! Alright, what's around here? Ooh! Yeah. Let's see. Where is spookiness going right there? Innsmouth Courier, established 1833. Ooh! Should I? I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. Slot there. Thank you. Daniel says, body positive fishermen. These fishermen. Oh, fishermen are queens. Yeah. <sighs> oh. That's right. The door is bolted oh, shut. Oh, crap. Ooh. Oh, you thought I'd have some little secrets in there for me. But no. Sneaky, sneaky. Where's that copper? Is he? Oh, he's not. Brilliant. It's unlocked. Sweet. Let me in. Objects that can be pushed will have left scratch marks on the floor. Thank you very much for that. These uh, shelves look light enough to push. Then uh, that is what I will do. There we go. See, no messing about. Just push up against it, and it pushes. Uh, all is good in the universe. There we go. Assorted paperwork, but nothing of any real interest. Why, well, thank you. Watch out for medical boxes, they contain all this around. Why, thank you. Uh, the till's empty. Oh, shame. Could have taken my little cut. Thank you. Oh! It looks like I need some sort of lifting handle to get it open. Oh, I didn't bring me lifting handle. What a shame. I'll have to find one. Oh. Fucking door has been kicked in. A typewriter. Invoices and receipts. There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. Brilliant. Drink all that, go blind. Uh, oh, fucking hell. 
hell's going on here? I don't like this pressure. Pressure. Pushing down on me. There we go. Down we go. Uh, don't fucking wait about. <gasps> uh. Right. Well, I hope there's a fucking way out. Yeah, that nonsense. Yoink. Uh, what have I got here? Flower. Finest quality flower. Oh, I remember this bit. It looks like a diary. It's gotta have some clues. Uh, I remember this bit. Push this. And it knocks the wall down. Oh, sneeze. Excuse me, fucking hell. Right, let's go up there. Go look at this. Oh! Massive loss of life! The stench of bodies! Oh. That, oh, this is the room. There are some issues of the Innsmouth Courier lying here, and they're dated 1846. They're fucking ancient. I'll take them. Various chemicals and apparatus for developing photographs. Any nudie photos. I'll pocket them. Take them. They give you my cup. Here. Watch out for ammo pickups. I'm a, yeah, I'm all right. Take that. Yoink. It won't budge. Nothing of interest. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything. General of notices. They're all dated 1846. Oh. Some you don't Yep. Got you. There we go. What's the way out? What about these other doors? Did I try it that? Won't open. I did. This? Oh, here we go. Oh my god, it's fucking David Carradine. Holy shit! Jesus! Oh yeah. Uh, there's a sanity thing Nothing in this. of interest. So if you look at things for too long, you go mental. And we don't want that. Give me that brush. Worry me, lover. Just lift your dress up. I'm not going to do that. That's disgusting. Why would you think that, Daniel? Disgraceful. Keep you on short leash, young man. Right, let's get out of here. Hello, Jack. <gasps> do I know you? Lucas Mackey. Hey, man. Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. New names spread fast. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? Not bad. I'm a private detective. My yeah, client's a friend dick, of the Burnham's. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackey? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay, maybe I'll catch you later. See you later, man. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. Daniel says, what did I think? You know damn well what you thought, young man. Thinking about looking up that dead woman's dress. Disgusting. Right, let's get out of here anyway. Away from Daniel's awful views. Eh. I won't tell him anything. I like how this little weasel kid just keeps getting fucking bullied. Keep your fucking mouth shut, my twisty nipples. You fucking say a word and this will get tighter. Right, can I? No, I don't want to go down there. It's down here. It's locked. It's locked. Oh, if it I must see you talking to the, the outside store, you'll get thrown in jail. I I've told him nothing. <laughs> Right, 
I've got the bootleg run. And I know who needs that. Has anyone here seen Dagon? I think it's Spanish. It's a Spanish film. It's fucking brilliant. It's just Shadow over Innsmouth. But with some little extra little bits and pieces, it's fucking brilliant. Get one open. Uh, right, where's that? I need to find. There's a piss head somewhere. I can find. What? I'm looking for Brian. Brian never heard of no Brian. <laughs> oh. Oh, look at that! Fucking superb. It's down here. Oh. Oh, my darling. Oh, I'll say my cigarette. Evening. It's cold tonight, uh, isn't it? The name's Jack Walters. If I it's a pleasure to meet up. you, Miss. Miss will do for now. Welcome oh, to Innsmouth, not Mrs. Mr. Walters. Fucking brilliant. Thanks. I'm in here. I think. Take my advice. Do what you must, and then leave tonight. <sighs> oh, this port does not cater well to visitors. Well, I appreciate your concern, Miss. I can handle lousy hospitality. Very well, Mr. Walters. On your knees, woman! No, that's disgusting. Hello what again. Got to say? Mr. Walters. Danny says I've not seen it. No oh! A conversation. It's fucking brilliant! There's no harm in that, We'll have to right? watch it. There's plenty of harm. It's not wise to be seen gossiping without We're not gossiping! We're just having a How chat! About playing dumb for a few minutes? No. Uh, Ghost says she's too frightened to talk to me, but Fri this lady Fri knows I something. Friends, Nez, what? Are you Scouse? <laughs> so look, Scouse me, friends, Uh, Shauna says we moving out. You fucking damn right, we moving out. Day gone, beautiful. It won't Any budge. Ah, uh, nonsense. Oh, friend zoned. I'll have my way. Don't you worry, Ghost. I'll have my way with her. To resist. It's almost fucking charming, isn't it? Should be fucking getting down on her knees and praising the Lord. Uh, no. Where's. Is he down here? There's somebody I need to find. He's, got, he's called Zadok Allen, I think. Could be right. Here he is, the lad. Fucking me outside Witchwood. With a good wine piping, with a good wind Daniel piping, says Liam must see with nail. Yes, he must. Gallant, man. Ah, I think it would be right up little. Oh. <laughs> you've got to go, you've got to go. The Does anybody have in the a horrific story about they've been really pissed and just pissed up against something that's just inappropriate? When the driving rain of the hurricane has the lights of the light I don't personally. Out. And the growling thunder sounds like you know, just like pissing in the central the reverse. Uh, reserve with the motorway or something. It's ha, really open. Ha, it's do disgusting. you think that's uh, the valley? Eh? Who's that there? God. Oh, can you spare a few pennies, young mister? I can give you something for your generosity. Well, seeing as the other one won't put out, you'll you? have to do, I suppose. Zedok, Take them teeth out. That'd be my name. Though too few years it now. Zedok Allen. Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just the youngin. Worked over the store. He's gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think Liam that? Liam says, pissed myself Them at school and I wasn't drunk. Then why did you store? piss yourself? Taking and Sean says, then he holds a gold. It is, especially if it's gone. gummy. They'd not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? You just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice. You know, Zedok will fill your ear. As long as that's all you fill in, then you can have all the booze you want. And I've got some here. Here you go, Rummy. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young fella. Here be a little something in gratitude that may help you in your search. Unzip my trousers. Uh, uh. Oh, a key.
<laughs> now you be calling me crazy. Like then that star rumor in an anchor in an lip switch. But old Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. <clears throat> was this just the other week, Liam? Was this in one of your lectures at university? Telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that to answer their prayers. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Um, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and thirty of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were quiet. Till that artful night of forty-six. Them's out outside reckon out it being a riot. But I'd seen them. Swarms of them. Look, old man, I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Oh, psst. was a massacre. The jail thrown open. Mounds of the dead and the dying. Shooting and screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy of strangers if we were known what was good for us. Sadok, who did all this? Who did all this? Said the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Oh, they told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. What the hell are these oaths? You just asked old Wes about oaths of Dagon. I, he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. He's about three sips away from shitting himself, not gonna lie.